Hello, people of the internet. I come to you from Winter Wonderland with my Hogwarts train and everything. Today's a Christmas special. I wanted to bring to you some things that I might not have given you before for kids, for adults, and for everybody in between. One of the things I wanted to bring to you were graphic novels. There are a few good ones that have come out, especially now the TV series The Flash. This is a nice graphic novel for um, if your boy likes it. Also, girls might like it, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure boys would like The Flash, and if they like the TV series, they'll really enjoy this. It does not go along with the TV series. It's his own storyline. It's still fun to read. Uh, for boys and girls, there's the original Sin, Thor and Loki, and uh, this follows Thor's sister, Angela. And it's great for boys and girls introducing a, a strong female character for girls. Also for girls and boys, there's being introduced a new female character, <coughs> female Thor. This series just begun in October, and there should be a, a third installation, his third uh, issue coming out this month. So there's two issues of that, and obviously female Thor, strong female character. There's of course the ongoing series of Wonder Woman. These are comics. There's also some graphic novels for for those. So those are the light reading if your boy or girl likes graphic novels or comics. Those are great. There are other more unsavory characters like Harley Quinn if you like that. There's also a Supergirl and Power Girl. Great series for girls to read, for boys to read. They're fun. If your kid does like um, books there's, of course, the Rangers Apprentice series. There's the uh, Brother Band series. I've already reviewed those. You can go check them out. And there's a million other books down here. As you can see. Ooh. There's quite a number. A lot of these are series. I'm describing one of them. There's the uh, Chronicles of Nick, very popular one. This I would uh, give only to teens, not to <coughs> uh, middle schoolers. But it's a great series. There's the trilogy, the pre, uh, the prequels, which is another trilogy. She's come up with another new book which is going to be another trilogy set in the same world. <clears throat> these are for young adults. The gift, these are the Books of Felony. It's actually a quadrilogy. Anyway, there's four books. Great story. <clears throat> of course, there's the uh, Rick Rodian. This is actually book three, the... Uh, what is the Mark of Athena? But you got the lost hero and the son of Neptune. These are also great to give. Chima, definitely for young adults. Great series. Fun to read. Uh, this one's the Exiled Queen. There's the Demon King and, and other ones. And of course, Chima has several series. There's also the uh, Dragon Air series. These are uh, again, fun to read. A little bit more young adult. You can never go wrong with Harry Potter, of course. And you can always get the movies for Harry Potter. Very good. Series and fun. And it'll take them a while to read them all. <clears throat> Here's the other book from uh, the Magician's Trilogy. Uh, not necessarily... Magician's Trilogy, but it's based in that same world. 
For older folks, we have, well, for anybody that's between the ages of 17 and 150, there's always Sherlock Holmes, great mystery novels. If you want something more romantic, there's Jane Austen, Emma, or any of the Jane Austens. <clears throat> if you want some light reading for Jane Austen, there's uh, the Watsons and Sendition, or Send. Send Sendition. If you have somebody who like historical based novels, Anne Easter Smith has a great line. There's also The King's Grace, The Rose and the Crown, and Queen by Right. These are all based in England, obviously, England, British history. Great for learning about <clears throat> British history. Of course, if you have another light reader and they like mysteries, Agatha Christie's really easy to to read. They're really thin. Uh, <clears throat> they're fun to read and wonderful mysteries. Agatha Christie is incredible at that. So, Merry Christmas to everybody. Enjoy your holidays. And I'm sorry I've been delayed on uh, the videos, but it turns out that I was putting together the tree. Anywho. Have a great holiday and Merry Christmas to you, blah, blah, blah. girls, as well as, <clears throat> why am I looking down? Blah. Bring you graphic novels. I realize <clears throat> these are not an exact.